Hey everyone, welcome to my video on isolating caffeine. First thing I have to say is I don't know how pure the caffeine is here, and even if it was pure, it is not safe for consumption. I'm only doing this so that I can have a sample and to say that I did it. I'm going to be isolating it from a Monster Hitman energy drink. The reason I'm using this is because it is the most caffeine I could find for the smallest volume. Also, it's not carbonated, so I don't have to deal with that. And the process is very simple. All I'm doing is using a solvent to extract it from the drink. Now, the solvents, you, there's many solvents you can use for this. The most common one is dichloromethane. However, I don't have access to that. Other solvents include ethyl acetate. Um, on the industrial scale, they use supercritical carbon dioxide. And even chloroform can be used. But I'm going to be using a less common one, chloromethane. The reason being is I was able to find it at a local plastic store. I don't know where else to get it. So you're going to have to choose which solvent is most attainable. Anyway, I'm going to be pouring the entire contents of the drink into a beaker on my magnetic stir. This is a magnetic stir hot plate, but I won't be using the heat. Anyway, and then adding the solvent and allowing them to mix for a few minutes. So I'll get back to you when that's happening. Alright, you can see now the solvent forms a clear layer at the bottom as it is more dense than the energy drink. So now I turn on the stir and allow them to mix. This lets the caffeine bind to the solvent rather than the drink. So I let this run for about five minutes. Unfortunately, I don't know how much solvent you need to add, and it really depends on the solvent. Um, I'm adding what I know is an excess, and the amount of time also, I don't know for sure, and varies by the solvent. But five minutes, we'll get everything. So after that, we separate the caffeine dissolved in the solvent and the remaining energy drink by densities, and let the solvent evaporate away. Okay, it's been running for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to turn stirring off. And I don't know how well you can see on the camera, but you can quickly see a layer of the solvent and tiny beads settling to the bottom. I think you can see it, yeah. And in a few minutes, they'll all join together and form the layer that I will extract. If you have a SEP funnel, it will make it a lot easier. I'm just going to be drawing it off with the pipette. Alright, here I have the layer of caffeine solution and chloromethane that I took out of the smaller beaker. I placed it in a larger beaker to evaporate in the sun. I do not know what other ingredients besides caffeine chloromethane took out, so that's why I don't know how pure the product is. But if you let this sit out, the chloromethane will evaporate and the caffeine will crystallize out in kind of an off-white almost yellow crystal. Anyway, so I'll be leaving it out here for a while and then letting you see the finished product after it's all evaporated. And here we are, finished product. I've let it sit out for a few days to dry and you can see that there is still some wet caffeine there in the middle, but you can you know, get the better light, see crystals of caffeine that crystallize out of the solution. So I'll be scraping this off and sealing it in an ampule, just as a sample. Anyway, if you have any questions on this, please comment or send me a message, and I'll be happy to help. I'd also like to point out now that I'm going to be leaving for vacation, so I won't be able to post for uh, most three weeks. So I'm sorry about that, but I'll be posting as soon as I can. Thank you.